friends. I am Mr. John. This is Toddler Storytime, brought to you by the Denver Public Library. We are going to have a lot of fun today. The first thing we are going to do is we're going to say hello to one another. How do we say hello with our hands, friends? What do we call this? What's that called? It's a wave, yes. Okay. We're going to sing a little song called Hi, Hello, and How Are You? And it goes like this. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? It's story time. Yes. All right. For our next one, we're going to stomp our feet. Can you point to your feet, friends? Down, 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 down. Okay. Stop your feet. Here we go. Hi, hello, and stop your feet. Stop your feet. Stop your feet. Hi, hello, and stop your feet. It's story time. Should we do one more? How about we nod our we're saying yes, yes, yes. Hi, hello, and nod your head, nod your head, nod your head. Hi, hello, and nod your head. It's story time. All right, that was wonderful, friends. Are you ready for story time? It helps to say hello, doesn't it? Okay. Well, friends, we're going to do something special today. I have a letter of the day. A letter of the day. It's towards the beginning of the alphabet. It's not the letter A. Does anybody know what letter this is? This is. It's not A. It's the second letter in the alphabet. It makes a sound like this. Ba, ba, ba. Does anybody know? Some of my friends have gotten it. It's the letter B. So let's make that sound, that ba, ba, ba sound. Because I have some special things today that start with the letter B. And I want to see if you can say it with me. The first one is an animal. It's an animal that hibernates in the winter. You can see them in Colorado if you go up to the mountains. You have to get pretty lucky to see one in the wild. But they are usually hiding in the trees. Sometimes they climb trees. Does anybody know what B animal this is? Two more, I think. Friends, what kind of animals are those? It's a bear. Good job. Okay, so today we are going to say, clap, and stomp our words to hear the syllables, to hear how these words go together or put together. So the first one is bear. It's going to be really easy. We say it, bear. Now we're going to clap it and say it. Ready? Bear. Stop it and say it. Bear. So that was just one. Let's see if we got one that's a little longer. This is one actually. Mr. John has these on his shirt. But I have some bigger ones right here. This is a fastener. And so you can. So I'll show you that how it really works. This shirt, if I button it, it'll stay closed. Sometimes Coats have this on it. I have one right here too. And I have one right here. So you can, and I almost said the word, we can put that together. So what do we call this thing? It's not a zipper. Mm, it's not a clasp. It's a b b b button. Good job, button. 
So that has two syllables. Are you ready? We're going to say it. Button. Clap. Button. Stop. Button. Button. Okay, let's do one that's three. Wow, okay. This is something that is a food. It's a fruit, and it grows. It doesn't grow here where I live in Colorado. You have to go down where it's much warmer. It's somewhere like Costa Rica. Um, it grows in a tree. And it is yellow. And you have to peel it before you can eat it. Some of my friends know it. It starts with the letter B. It's a banana. Oh, banana. That does have three syllables. Okay, let's say banana. Clap. Banana. Stop. Banana. Okay, friends. That's our letter of the day. B. Oh, do any of my friends out there have a name that starts with the letter B? Or has the letter B anywhere in it? Some of my friends do? Okay. Well, do you remember what our first B word was? Well, this book has one of those in it. And it's called Bear Has a Belly. Bear Has a Belly. And this one is written by Jane Whittingham. It has some really wonderful pictures. I'm excited to do it. And wait a minute, bear has a belly. I have a belly. Right there. Do you have a belly? Can you point to it? Do you have a tummy? Hmm, well, let's see what this book is all about. I'm very excited. Bear has a belly. Oh, there might be kids in it too. It might not just be animals. Here we go. see what that first animal is. Can you tell? It likes to hop. Rabbit has ears. Long floppy ears. Rabbit has ears. I do too. Friends, can you show me your ears? Where are your ears? Are they long and floppy like rabbit? Probably not. Oh, what kind of animal is that? It's a bird. I think it's a bird that hunts at night. Mm, it makes a sound like this. <coughs> Owl has eyes. Big, round eyes. Owl has eyes. Well, I do too. Can you point to your eyes, friends? Where are your eyes? Right there. has a nose. Oh, a black, shiny nose. I do too. Where's your nose, friends? Where's your nose? Okay. Oh, do you know what this one is? Yeah. You see these climbing trees sometimes around here, don't you? It's a squirrel. Squirrel has cheeks, round, fluffy cheeks. Sometimes they put food in their cheeks. That's sometimes why you see them with puffy cheeks. Squirrel has cheeks. And I do too. Can you show me your cheeks? Oh, cheeky cheeks. All right. Let's see what's next. I can't wait to find out. Quack. Quack. Yes, it is a duck. Duck has feet, wide, flat feet. Duck has feet. Where are duck's feet? Do your feet look like that? My feet do not look like that. My feet look a little bit more like this. I do too. 
Friends, can you point to your feet? Let's see if I can get my foot all the way up here so you can see it. There it is. It's a little hard when it's out on camera. Okay, friends. There we go. Frog has a tongue, a long, sticky tongue. Frog has a tongue. I do too. Can you point your tongue out? It's kind of hard to talk when your tongue is sticking out. Try it. It's going to be a lot harder to talk. Show us your tongue, everybody. Yes. Do you catch flies with your tongue? No. That's what frogs do. This one's a little bit harder. Do you know what this one is? Let's see. It starts with the letter O. It's an otter. Otter. Otter has a back. A smooth, slippery back. Otter has a back. I do too. Oh, I have to turn around to show you my back. Can you pat your back, friends? Can you reach around and pat your back? Yeah, good job. Okay. This is our friend. Do you recognize this guy? He was on the front of the book and now he's on this page. It's our friend. Bear! Bear has a belly. A soft round belly. Bear has a belly. And I do too. Can you tickle your tummy? <laughs> Maybe your grown up can tickle your tummy for you. It's hard to tickle yourself. All right, friends. Good, good job. Okay, we are gonna do a little song, and this is a classic song. This is a song called Head, Shoulder, Knees, and Toes. Head, shoulders, touch your knees, touch your toes. Okay, here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, Knees and toes, knees and toes, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and ears and mouth and nose, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Oh, pretty good, pretty, pretty good. Should we see if we can go faster now? Whew. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Okay, how about going backwards? This is really hard. It starts toes, knees, shoulders, head. And then when we get to the other part, it's nose and mouth and ears and eyes. Because it's eyes, ears, mouth, mouth, nose. So it's nose, mouth. Nose, mouth, ears, eyes. Uh, Mr. John doesn't even know it, so <clears throat> he might not, but okay, here we go. Start with your toes. Toes, knees, shoulders, head, shoulders, head. Toes, knees, shoulders, head, shoulders, head. Nose and mouth and ears and eyes. Toes, knees, shoulders, head, shoulders, head. One more, and the fastest one ever. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. <sighs> Is anybody tired after that one? Well, friends, thank you so much for coming to Virtual Storytime today. My name is Mr. John. I work at the Sam Gary branch of the Denver Public Library. So if you ever come in, say hi to me and tell me that you've seen my virtual story times. Well, we said hello at the beginning and now we say goodbye. We wave goodbye like this. Bye, friends. We wave goodbye like this. See you next time with our friends at story time. We wave goodbye like this. And we always finish with a kiss. Kiss goodbye like this. Mwah. We kiss goodbye like this. Mwah. With our friends at story time, we kiss goodbye.
Story time. Hope we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.